When picking the correct production, this is also outlined in the production rider. Every production rider is individual and therefore you have to cater to the band's needs. Whether it be from stacks and racks, to the type of console they need, to the type of lights that they require on stage for their performance to make it work. No matter what the requirements or size of the show, there's obviously always going to be some very basic things that every gig needs. It needs a PA, it's going to need the speakers for the PA, it's going to need the mixing desk, it's going to need the microphones to be plugged into the mixing desk, the leads, the DIs and all the bits that go with that. You're going to need a lighting rig so people can obviously see the band that's playing on stage. And then you're going to need a very basic backline. So when holding a live music event for more than one act, we like to compromise with production. Therefore, we get both production managers to meet in the middle and agree on consoles, lighting and stacks and racks. What we have here is an example of a very basic PA setup, something like you might find for a backyard party or things like that. But the same principles apply for the PA, no matter what size your gig is. You're going to have your desk, which has got your basic faders, master mix, VUs, gain structures, and the bigger your show and requirements get, this will just get larger in scale. Generally, with your live performance, you're not going to need to know the technical side of your desk as your sound engineer will take care of this for you. The one thing you will need to work out when you're booking it is the requirements of this part of the desk and how many channels you're going to need, depending on the act. When conducting a live music event in a small venue, most venues have in-house lighting technicians. Therefore, most of the lights and the infrastructure is already set for you. The in-house lighting technicians know their venue the best, so it's best to listen to their advice on when lighting a stage for the act. Okay, with a basic lighting setup for your live music event, um, it will vary from if you're doing a small community event, you'll probably get away with just having, you know, five to ten basic park hands sitting at the front pointing at the band. But once you start booking bands from booking agencies, they'll have a specific lighting rig that you will have to provide to them as part of their contract. If your location or venue doesn't have any lighting, it's best to take the advice of your local lighting vendor. You're going to need to book in all your PA, backline and lighting requirements and these things can often be booked out by other festivals at the time. So the more time you have to plan this, the more chance you have of getting what you actually need to put on your show. If you don't know what equipment you need for your live music event, always approach the production manager because he can make the decisions for you if the equipment he requires is not available. When organising the production, you have to stay within budget, but also with what the requirements are for the band. Sometimes the requests from the production writer aren't feasible. Therefore, there has to be a compromise between budget and what they want. 